playing that role as the Chen. Nerdgasm Shelby had this day. Well, the burst damage come. And Cloud9 are gonna try and come in and take over Chen's jungle. Now everyone's on the front lines. Misery can see him coming, and they're backing up. Maybe they can fight. Axe will catch them all. Wave of Terror. They've got a lot of negative armor. Pylai low on life. Bone 7 even lower. An alliance from the high ground. They get the first blood. Beastmaster low on life. Fader will get a revenge kill into this one. With a double kill for Chessie. The Viper. They pump so much money into him. And now they should go over towards Fader as well. They need more damage. They had the Howl bonus from the very, very get go. They need Fader to go down. Magic Missile not available. The Plasma Field will go. But there it is from Loader. He'll take stages because normally Viper tries to just zone you out and you do that by being very over aggressive with your poison and those wolves look so boss when they're actually oh, look at them look at them you just put napalm on them it's like putting Vaseline on a wolf it just looks even better Beastmaster will go down the bottom lane in the meantime as misery does come in he can't find himself a collateral kill here oh he actually might find himself being a collateral kill the nightmare taken off by the ball and Misery can't get away fast enough. The magic missile will be there. Envy! Whoa, 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 whoa! He's gonna go down. The creep wave kills him off. And the experience goes the way of him, which it was. Gets himself out. An article of faith. Okay, now up to level eight. Now he picks up that bounty rune. There's still no buckler for him just yet. Means that mech is a very long way away. Well, and again, this is one way to get there. Double stuns with the wall stomps, fade up, Raw gonna go on him, and the Razor goes down. And that was just a simple rotation from a troll warlord. And then they go to Pylite Die with a Chen Yuke. More kills coming the way here of Alliance. Racking up the cash. Phone Seven's trying to farm up inside the Dire jungle right now. Reliant on those BT to get himself away to safety if he can blink and get out. And having to run across the entire map. Envy now gonna have to TP. Whoa. Actually, they cancel that. They turn around, they go for the raw. And he's gonna jump in. Nice sleep damage going for Misery with the Meg Charge and the Hand of God. Trying to keep Misery alive, forcing Envy to work hard. And then with the War Stomp, now in comes with. Yeah, yeah, she has a double War Stomp on Envy and Fader. There will be a TP out, no Troll Trap. And not enough damage from Option. The Link from Fader, the Wolves, as a mini body block that she brought in the space here. Hopes for aid. When they're looking to come out, they bought back on the Bat Rise. I definitely want to try and fight this arcade. The street farm is burning a little bit, and now five to strike with the troll traps. They force us away from the war stomp, and Envy jumps in, trying to go on Admiral Bulldog. Already the Bat Rider has had his die back. The VS swapping Envy around. He just can't find the space. Chen Yuke's him, RK. Too many multi cars. He will go down, but Misery blinks in, focuses on Fader, and Lone's just like, all right, in on Fader, and you'll bring him down. The double kill goes away. Could have actually just said how. Uh, and they're going in deeper. They'll go for the range racks. The melee to follow. Admiral Bulldog is trying to keep his aura in range. Misery from blinking away trying to evade the attack. Now Razor will buy back. They still need that range rack gone. The melee rack. He's gonna know that Alliance won't care. You bring down one to the racks or a tier 3 tower. Now against Megas, it makes no difference. He has to come back and try and fight this. But his money isn't good enough. Now he jumps in, gets some good crits over on RK, but the wall stomp is too quickly. They walk over towards Eternal Envy. He triggers up the mana stuff to buy himself some space and then blinks away to safety. But the Lions, there's too many of them. They're just too strong at this point of the game. The Molly cars on the load, three of them actually, they break down loader. But Admiral Ball on the front lines with misery. The roar will obliterate him. The buybacks are coming out <laughs> thick and fast. But the top rank's not dead just yet. RK and Chelsea, they're trying to finish the job right now. The range rack's on the sideline. RK trying to send the bunch back in the middle of the fiend strip. Just unable to do so. Blink away by misery. And the melee ranks is the only thing that remains alive right now for Cloud9. Envy will mop up the walls with a 1300 crit. And now Loda. The mass necro books come, the howl as well. Loda, a lot of damage. Remember, it's just his agency more. They drag back Misery with the lasso in the fiend script. No swapping, no disabling. The blame melon from Chessy. Minimal, 30 minutes in. Loda still getting stunned up. There's a lot of multi cast coming up here from Maui, but he's completely out of mana. Triggers the RK boost. Envy back to front lines, but the ancients are doing the work. They're bringing down the racks. Another multi cast to happen. But it doesn't really matter at this point of the game. The buyback is coming up from PA. Back in towards the mix, but now he's slowed down by that Viper Strike. And while Fader, they get beaten down. They're still going to be Viper with a double kill. It's Mega Creeps, three heroes on the sidelines. 
And Alliance, they came this close to winning game number one. The Cloud9 triumphed over them. But in this game, this game is the opposite apart from Gambi! Whoa, 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 whoa. Damage out for too much. Mercy, not granted. A triple kill for a Eternal Heavy. And now the Nightmare will be there. One last tip for the road from a Eternal Heavy. Well, the GG call is officially out now. So the game is over and the game belongs to Alliance. So 1 1. The teams potentially can remain locked in the D2CL. If you want the details for it, go to joinedit.com and you can find the group standings there or you go to d2cl.org to, to, to see the standings there. But that'll wrap up Cloud9's games. They go 7 7 as their final result. With that loss, it opens up the potential.